This special episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Butterball. If you know, you know. Did you ever have a Butterball turkey growing up, Brooke? I don't know. My dad just always deep fried them. Mm -hmm. Always juicy, always tender. The best of all is Butterball. Shout out to the deep fried turkey. Used to be the best kept secret until Food Network. This is really making me to have a hankering for some fried turkey and dressing. Little bit of cranberry sauce. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Yeah, add that gravy in there. Some good yeast rolls. Pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll? Don't knock it till you try it, okay? Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Thanks so much for tuning in to this holiday edition of Two Freckle Friends. I am Allie. And I'm Brooke without the pumpkin roll. If you like your turkeys butterballed and your pumpkins rolled, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button as well as tapping on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications. As to when we drop new episodes right here on TFF, in the States, it is the week of giving thanks. Surprisingly, there are a number of TV shows with Thanksgiving themed episodes. So we said, why not have the very first inaugural freckled Friendsgiving? Yeah. I really want some food now. I do have a hankering now for- Just some mashed potatoes. I'm a stuffing snob. Stuffing. Dressing. See, you dressing. know what? Your true colors are showing. You over here talking about pumpkin rolls and stuffing. Now, don't you pull that heritage card on me, young lady. Now, if we want to go down to pilgrimage, we sure can. <laughs> In honor of Thanksgiving, we're going to check out not one, not two, but three three TV special Thanksgiving themed episodes from our childhood era. We're just gonna surprise you. And you think I'm supposed to put up with that? You think I'm supposed to be okay with that? What we do here if you're new to us is we will watch content, then Brooke and I will give our own individual thoughts and with those thoughts we will provide everything with its official freckle score. Without further ado, Brooke and I present to you the very first inaugural Freckled Friendsgiving! Let's roll it! Do no, I have some cheese? Like, Hold on. I think I have some cheese cubes. Hold on. Please still be good. Please still be good. She damn sure would risk eating sketchy dairy for the sake of snacking. Somebody better call Clorox and Lysol and the scrubbing bubbles that you stick inside. <laughs> Dry scrubbing bubbles, toilet cleaning gel. Damp it in your bowl and dissolves away. I have returned. Three, two, one, play. Thanksgiving? And he's wearing shorts in New York? No. It's cold. I'm dressed up? Cold enough to wear pants. But you know how white people are at their shorts, though. New York City celebrating the Mayflower, though? Yeah, because okay. you know we're like a knock off ball. I have a commercial. I have a commercial. What's a commercial? You? You got the basic plan? This is not my plan. This is my mother's plan. Oh, this Mario game looks kind of fun though. When they landed at Plymouth Rock. It's always the teacher with the receding hairline. Winter comes, our food runs short. Don't you love how they have the Asian girl playing an indigenous American? What is up with all the one syllable words? They can't remember shit. <laughs> Thanksgiving turkey stuffing <laughs> So you know Gerald's black talking about Thanksgiving like this. Oh, there we go. Come on, Patty. You better come out. Come on, Patty. I open Patty up. My house, Thanksgiving is always a disaster. Grandma's confused and thinks it's the 4th of July. So we always have to go up on the roof and barbecue hot dogs. I don't think I've ever had a real Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving. Whatever you make of it. Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Every year it's always the same. Miriam overcooks the stuffing. <laughs> Cause they're white. Have you ever had overcooked stuffing? I don't think I have. No. <laughs> no. What does that mean? I don't know what that means either. Have a good baby sister dear. Get me that. Some holiday. I would like you to please. Yeah, I'm about to mess it up. Counting on you. I don't chuck. You are irrepressible. Thanks. 
personal. And I am thankful for that. And I'm thankful that you made this exquisite holiday meal, Mrs. Simon. And me, I'm just so darn thankful for this wonderful, excitingly diverse family gathering we have every year. Happy Thanksgiving! Yeah. Yeah. Tools out! Shorts! Who wears shorts? It's November. You know it's bad when kids would rather be at school than at homes for the holidays. That was college. Let's burning, Miriam. You know, I think yep. I overcooked the stuffing, B. How? You do it every Thanksgiving, Miriam. You know, Bob you know, had Bob's beepers. What do you think he would be now since we're no longer in the beeper era? Cricket wireless. It's Thanksgiving, and you know what that means. <laughs> July, everybody! <laughs> How about if we made turkey and stuffing and pumpkin pie and cranberries this year? What are you, crazy, Arnold? We don't get that until the 4th of July. Look, Mom, I made a centerpiece for our Thanksgiving table. Oh, yeah. Bro, she got a six burner stove? And messing up. Is everyone ready to help me make the Thanksgiving dinner? I was you can help me fold napkins, Mommy. <laughs> How you describe your relationship with your sister is very much like Helga and Olga. Facts. I would be so mad eating hot dogs at Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's like, why are you giving me this cheap food? You have friends. You could go and spend Thanksgiving with them too. I'm going to Gerald and I'm spending the night. I'm going to a house where they cook. Oh my God. Look potatoes. at all them potatoes. Oh, yeah, I'm a regular chill. <laughs> and I may be watching again, you know, your dirty little hands. How could you do that? Here's what I want to do. Just once, I'd like to have a normal, regular day. I'm going to Gerald's and I'm spending the night. Maybe I'd be better off for myself this Thanksgiving. Some course dinner I created from scratch in my <laughs> That's you. I'm thankful for... Miriam is definitely an alcoholic. Oh yeah, pill popping alcoholic. <laughs> you can just park your fanny upstairs in your room till you can think of something you're thankful for. Maybe I'd be better off by myself this Thanksgiving. We forget a lot of times. The holidays aren't pleasant for everyone. We forget. What are you talking about? Well, I know, I'm, I'm talking like childhood. I had traditional Thanksgivings and Christmases, and they were fantastic. And then you become a non-student loan paying millennial, and you enjoy being by yourself on the holidays. Again, do I need to repeat the story? Of no. Creeping <laughs> <laughs> up on me, you little creep. It was all getting a little weird. So I left. <laughs> Join the club, football head. I'm really thankful now. <laughs> You better shake that. You better beat it. You gave up that easy. You better find a stick. It must be some kind of sign, Helga. Maybe you're right. It's a sign. This is possibly the worst thing to do ever. Damn. Girl, can you close your legs? I keep thinking about Mr. Simmons' Thanksgiving party. If anyone would be having a good Thanksgiving at their house, Mr. Simmons would. Helga? Arnold, what a, what a surprise. Why do they know where their teacher lives? Both our Thanksgiving was really blue, and we wondered if we could crash here. Of course you can join me. This is my mother, Pearl, and my friends, Peter and Joy. And this, of course, is my Uncle Chuck. It's the same name. Is this the people in this play? Oh, oh she Lord. She did that on purpose. I knock off the whining. Who asked you? Please, please, everyone, it's Thanksgiving. Simmons knocks himself out making this meal, and then they're all out there sitting right on their butts, and they can't even put aside their petty little differences and be thankful for crying out loud. I guess if Simmons can put up with his lame excuse for a family, we can put up with ours. So... Want to go back home and give it a try? Not really, but it's getting dark and I'm starving. Me too. My little girl is missing and I want a whole police squad to go out and look for her. I'm taking the armor, Miriam, and I'm not coming back till I find Helga. What's going on? Helga? Helga? I just want to say that I'm really thankful that I have a great home. Don't forget the centerpiece. Aww. Happy Thanksgiving. I heard that you were out looking for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Troll on the roof in the cold. What are you doing with that Ben Franklin costume? It's Thanksgiving. Dig in. It wouldn't be Thanksgiving without fireworks. Just like a New Yorker. <laughs>
sorry to disturb you. I know you have a busy social calendar, but if you will be so kind as to go to the kitchen and fix me a huge breakfast, I will allow you to come back to bed and finish your sleep. This is some rainstorm shit. Sir, who the fuck am I taking orders from in my house? Fix me breakfast. Kiss my ass. I trust breakfast met with your satisfaction. Next time, a little less pan, a little more cake, okay? Guess it's time for our early mid-morning nap. Mid-morning nap, yep. What's this? Take Garfield to vets today. The vet? How you have the vet the day before Thanksgiving? Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. That's the day people try to eat every turkey, pumpkin, and cranberry on the face of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We had better go to the grocery store to get lots of good things to eat. That grocery store should not be that mm, that packed. That food should have been gone. What TV show lets you run wild through a supermarket? Supermarket Sweep! What TV show lets you grab everything you can get your hands on? Supermarket Sweep! Supermarket Sweep! Thanksgiving is cooking. Thanksgiving is pie filling. Drive carefully, John. Don't want to bruise my kumquats. Did he say you don't want to bruise my kumquats? This isn't the way home. We're going to the vet, Garfield. And look how packed it is. It's the day before Thanksgiving, negative. You're only bringing me here to check out the vet. Why don't you marry her? Then she can make house calls. Next. Hi, Liz. How have you been? That's Dr. Wilson to you. Put the cat here. Just like a man. How about that weather? That's a rather personal question, don't you think, Mr. Arbuckle? How about a date? I'd sooner die. Well, don't do that. <laughs> Mr. Arbuckle, please. You can call me John. I can call out for pizza too, but I'm not gonna call you that. Call me what? John! Harassment. I'm giving you what? <laughs> Doctor. Doctor. Manipulation. Harassment. Mush him in the face, please. The bad news is he's also big as a horse. You'll have to go on a diet. You must drink some of my sugar and sugar? Starch. Starch? It wouldn't hurt him to get it. Let him pass out. See, that's what I'm talking about. When y'all do that manipulative shit. I'll go out with you. Tomorrow, my place. I'll fix a big Thanksgiving dinner. Mr. Arbuckle! Yes? You forgot your cat. I ain't eating nothing at your house, John. I'm sorry, Garfield. That's not what you get. You get half a leaf of lettuce. <laughs> Uh, Odie. Remove bird from freezer at least 24 hours before cooking. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's just a minor technicality. Raw yeah, poultry will one cup you up. Instant diarrhea. You're sick. Not as sick as they're gonna be. Up skin with butter. Hmm. Well, I don't see what good that'll do, but okay. I guess I'll just have to speed things up a bit. 500 degrees. Corn, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, turnips, squash. I'm very disappointed. Add water and done. Water? No seasoning. Humbug. If I can't enjoy Thanksgiving, nobody will. I ain't mad at you, Garfield. I'm going to win her heart, Garfield. You'll see. Informal. Eye roller. A sporty look. Try dressing as yourself. Maybe if I just dressed as myself. Thanksgiving dinner, I whipped up. I mean, he did a bunch of grocery shopping. I need to slip into the kitchen and take care of a few last minute details. I'd rather see you fat and healthy than like this. Maybe I could let you skip the diet for right now and start you with some mild exercise instead. Everything is ruined, Garfield. What can I do? This is Grandma's favorite wreck. <laughs> he already knew. It wasn't looking good anymore. This man. I know. I'll call Grandma. She'll know what to do. Is that a Harley? Have cooking utensils will travel. <laughs> well, what are you just standing there for, boy? Get in there and spark your young lady friend. Now, where's the patient? How's dinner coming? It's uh, simmering or whatever food does. Grandma, I love you. Stand back, Garfield. This is war. <laughs> there now. We'll just put together a little white sauce. A bit of parsley, dash of lemon juice, some grated onion. Now we'll add our turkey to the white sauce. Make some bread and roll our mixture in the bread and deep pan fry. Guess where to be. Over. Oh, be... Look at that nice table. Nice touch. Tell that young lady of his that she couldn't find a better man than John. I don't know about that, Granny. They just don't make them like that anymore. They sure don't. Where am I? Dinner is served, ah, ah, madame. Ah. Oh, John, I'm so impressed. So am I. Let's find a way somehow. So this is why I don't eat at anybody's house. Every day. 
Ooh, that kiss lingered. I know one thing I'm thankful for today. Grandma. Do the funky turkey call the time to jam. Eat this pack. Friendsgiving. One more. For the road. Charlie Brown. Now Charlie Brown. Why is Lucy always the ultimate troll? Because she's an asshole. She's like everybody's big sister. Come on, Charlie Brown. I'll hold the ball and you kick it. I do love that she's the one with the football originally. What's that cheerleader doing with the helmet on? That's no cheerleader. That's my niece, Becky. And she's pissed. Can we have like the adventures of Lucy as a used car salesperson? She wouldn't try to trick me on a traditional holiday. This time I'm going to kick that football clear to the moon. <laughs> see no signs of autumn. It okay, Linus is over here prepared. At least he has a blanket. Ours was the first country in the world to make a national holiday to give thanks. After we stole it. See, this isn't good. Why are we teaching young girls to be attracted to young boys who still suck their thumb? Because they're what? Like, like, in the fifth grade? Who's sucking their thumb in the fifth grade? I knew of someone who sucked their thumb for a while. <laughs> this is Peppermint Patty. How you been, Chuck? My dad's been called out of town. He said I could go over to your house and share Thanksgiving with you, Chuck. I, uh... Wait, who's inviting themselves over to my house? Well, I, uh... Okay, that's a date. See you soon, you sly devil. Oh, brother. Peppermint Patty's coming to Thanksgiving dinner. Who's making we this dinner? We won't even be home. Whose parents don't mind sending their kids away for Thanksgiving? You don't oh, get to take a nap while here. you watch ha! kids. I didn't take a nap while I watch kids. Just save me a drumstick in the neck. See you, Chuck. Look, at least she asked me for dark meat. The How neck? do I always get Who things? are you? <laughs> don't fuck, because you're so wishy-washy. Ooh! Franklin, don't go over there. Stay at home and eat good food. This is gonna be the biggest bash of the year. See ya. Franklin, they ain't gonna have mac and cheese. How are we doing Friendsgiving on Thanksgiving when the family's not even gonna be in town? I and they're like 10 years old. Marcy. You can't explain anything to Peppermint Patty because you never get to say anything. What time are you going over to your grandmother's, Charlie Brown? 4.30. You simply have two dinners. Excuse you cook me? cook the first one yourself for your Excuse friends. Excuse me? Obviously, there's some Something not right about this whole situation. At least Linus is strategic. All I can make is cold cereal and maybe toast. Good job. I've seen you make toast. You can't butter it. <laughs> Don't ask for Snoopy's help. Snoopy is all for one and one for Snoopy. Woodstock. Right on cue. Wake that ass up. <laughs> That's disrespectful. You know that bird, alcoholic. Yes, it took you 50, 11 years to find a table. Please get some chairs around the table. Yeah, Snoopy, do your ah. a job. He's a dog. 15 minutes of this special holiday episode, Snoopy setting up the damn table. I just talked to Charlie Brown. He said dinner would be served a little earlier. Great, we're ready. Come on inside. We need some help with the food. Lord have mercy, where all these toasters come from? Hey! Now listen, Toast 101, it best have butter, and preferably jelly or preserves. Jelly beans? Are those jelly beans? I did see Jelly Belly. You're giving these children actual china? How would you feel if you were Charlie Brown's parents and you came home to find out that all your bread is gone? Luckily, bread at this time was affordable. If this was today, I'd beat his ass. Oh, Lordy! Come on, Snoopy. We don't have any time for this playing around. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Peppermint Hi, Pepper Patty. Hi, Franklin. Franklin, do you know where we can find some mac and cheese? Franklin, the only one with a handshake. He really did. Franklin on his own side of the table. Here's six pilgrims held their first Thanksgiving feast. Mm -hmm. Ice cream sundae? Where'd that come from? Where the cherries come from? These cherries. They doing a history lesson. I'm trying to count the cherries. This is about to make y'all sick. Peppermint's like, I was expecting turkey, dressing, cranberry sauce. All the things. No, nobody want to eat this. Uh, <laughs> What's this? You invite yourself over to my place and you mad what we saw? What kind of a Thanksgiving dinner is this? A free one. Oh, anything about Thanksgiving dinners? You were kind of rough on Charlie Brown, weren't you, sir? Good job, Marcy. Look at this. Did he invite you here to dinner? Oh. Or did you invite yourself? Oh. Us too. Oh. 
I bet I hurt his feelings, huh? His dick shrunk three sizes that day. I just feel bad because I ruined everyone's Thanksgiving. Parents but left Thanksgiving. Them. Don't let Peppermint give you scoliosis. Pick that head up. I bet you Charlie Brown is a Pisces. Charlie, you going to Grandma's house later anyway. You gonna eat good in the neighborhood? Fuck them hoes. Apologies accepted, Chuck old boy. We're supposed to be at grandmother's house for Thanksgiving by 4.30. We're all invited to Charlie Brown's grandmother's for Thanksgiving dinner. Yay! Jesus is black! Yay! That's like a grandma to save the day. Oh, how come Snoopy and them ain't going? They got a whole movie theater full of snacks. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house. Go. Go. I'm gonna eat some turkey with cranberry sauce and dressing. There's only one thing wrong with that. My grandmother lives in a condominium. <laughs> they got pie? Let's give it a freckle score! All right, Hey Arnold Thanksgiving. The one good reminder from the Hey Arnold episode was that the holidays are what you make it. Everyone's family is different. And yes, the media advertises what Thanksgiving is supposed to look like. If I was married to Bob of Bob's Beepers, I would be a pill popping alcoholic as well. The only downside I have to the Hey Arnold episode is that we didn't go to Gerald's house. You're gonna have a holiday episode with cooking and you're not gonna show the black people throwing down and showing y'all how it's done. I have a problem with that. I give it 4.5 out of five freckles. It's a Garfield Thanksgiving. Man, that shit was funny. Funny beginning to end. I don't know how in the world John earned a kiss after all that buffoonery. Grandma made me miss my grandma. When someone doesn't know how to cook, it's usually the elders who come in to save the day. Men, I don't care if you're single, married, relationship, whatever, learn how to cook. I'm not saying you gotta know how to make Thanksgiving, but you definitely need to know you can't just pull a turkey from the freezer and stick it in the oven. Garfield Thanksgiving, five out of five freckles. All right, here we go. Hey Arnold. I love Hey Arnold. I do. However, it was a little too sappy for me. It made its point. It was very Thanksgiving based. And I appreciated that Mr. Simmons, his family sucks. He needs to just have Thanksgiving on his own. Make the turkey for yourself and be happy. Ding. I give it a three five. Garfield. Garfield, I was engaged throughout. There were a number of plot holes. Even though it was a Thanksgiving episode, it wasn't based around Thanksgiving. It was simplistic. The humor was more higher brow. Don't go with the last guy who shows up at your office inviting you out on a date. More than likely, his grandma's not gonna show up and make dinner like that. I'm just saying. Give it a three freckles. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Franklin, I'm sorry they put you on that opposite side of the table. If no one ever apologized to you, these two freckles are going to apologize to you. Uncalled for, unacceptable, and at the end of the day, I didn't see a whiff, piff, or sniff of mac and cheese. How dare they treat our people in such a manner? Would I watch it again? Eh, maybe. The Christmas one hits different. Like Charlie's backbone, or lack thereof, is gonna be in the middle. I'll give it three out of five freckles. You have your mind set on something else. You have a hankering for something something else and you get something lackluster. I wasn't as disappointed watching it this time. It felt like ice milk rather than ice cream. I was interested to know where Franklin sat at Charlie Brown's grandmother's house. A bit of time could have been chopped off. I want to give it a three, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give it a 2.75. We appreciate you all tuning in to the inaugural Two Freckled Friendsgiving. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Click on that beautiful red button and that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes. If you are in the States and celebrate Thanksgiving, we hope you have a very happy Thanksgiving. If Thanksgiving is not happening where you are or if it's not your vibe, we hope that you have a fantastic day. May your Mac be with cheese and may your turkey be fried. <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with magnificent giant balloons. Ah!